Hi there. So I suck at design and I'm always looking for stuff that will help me make cool designs with little effort or without a good eye for design. And CSS Doodle pretty much does that. Um, it helps you make these cool patterns with very little code. It's not very performant, I would say. So you're going to have to play around with it to see if you can get it to work for your use case. But in any case, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to be able to explain much of it to you, but I just kind of want to show it to you and show you what I've been sort of playing around with. So basically what it is, so with just this code, you've created this little design. And um, what you have is a grid here. So at its core, it's sort of like um, a grid like this. And then you create transformations or you style each of these tiles sort of at random or in different ways to get these cool patterns like this with just this amount of code. Or you can have this cool thing. So you see here, transform, um, it'll scale it at a random number between 0.2 and 0.9. So we get a random, if you click on it, it'll randomly generate it a, dif a different way. So um, right here, what I've been doing with Svelte is I've got my doodle here, and then this is what I created. So I rotate them randomly from negative 10 degrees to 10 degrees. So they're just kind of shifted left and right. Um, and then I've got this grid here. So it's 8 divided by 100 Vmax. So um, it's like an 8 by 8 height width of the doodle. Another cool thing is I can use this shape here, circle, and now it's a circle like that. Um, and here I've got a translate, so it's also kind of translating them sort of left and right. And I have a background. It's randomly picking between a white, so pick either white or this color that I can specify right here. So this is kind of cool as felt. I can type something new and get, uh, see it's a bit slow, but I can get a different color there. And so this here, random, that is going at the scale. So I can make these boxes smaller or bigger. So maybe I just want to have like 0.1 to 0.2. So they're really small like that. So you can create something like this with Svelte and then kind of have this interactive um, thing to create your own design. And if I wanted, so right now I have shape circle inside the doodle. So the doodle itself is a circle. But if I take this out and put it in here, then each of them will be a circle themselves. So you see like with pretty little code and, you know, I have like no design skills, I'm able to create this cool doodle. So here in Svelte, the one thing you have to watch out for is if you're using it in Svelte, um, so all I did here is, is this script that I import. And then there's this CSS doodle. This is like a web component. And Svelte won't like it if you, so if this were just normal HTML, you'd be able to just put it inside like this, but Svelte will yell at you for that. So you have to pass it in as like a JS string. Um, and that right here, I just copy and paste from the website. Looks like that. Okay, so yeah, this isn't really um, a teaching video, but I just kind of wanted to show you. And if you have questions, let me know if you can think of cool use cases for this. But I encourage you to look at the docs. It's pretty simple. The one that I like that's pretty simple is you can just say like random and this will select it will basically it'll select tiles at random and I can give them a background color of like red. So randomly some tiles are red and some are not. And then I could do another random like random um, do like transform maybe a scale at two. Okay, then at random some of them are scaled at two. So we've got like a pretty different looking design with just um, a bit of code there. Okay, so let me know if you like this video. Uh, it's a little bit different, but um, hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and have a